How's the hospitality? Yeah, how's the hospitality? Hospitality's been awesome, baby. I like your camera girl too. She thick. <laughs> Damn. I Thank wasn't even you. looking down like that. Now I'm forced to look down at the camera. Look at there. Look at there. Look at the shit on that critter. <laughs> Charming. Um, Stephanie, so as a videographer, uh, what was going through your head as you were shooting this? Well, I was caught off guard. I mean, obviously, a lot of people don't p point me out and talk to me. I'm behind the camera. I'm not usually in front of the camera. I'm not conducting the interviews. So for him to just point me out and start talking about me specifically really caught me off guard. It happened so fast that it, I found it hard to... I didn't really understand what he said. It seemed really quick. But I got the impression that the implication was clear, that he was looking at my body, pointing down at it, in, in a way that he seemed impressed by it, and he wanted his friends to also look at my body and be impressed by it. And how did it make you feel? Well, um, like I said, it happened very quickly, but I felt very embarrassed, I mean, very belittled, and a lot of people talk about this being a compliment. That's the biggest thing I've heard. It's, it's a compliment. Why are you complaining? It's a compliment. Take it. But uh, let's talk about that. What, what is a compliment? Is a compliment something that's going to make a woman feel extremely embarrassed and belittled and laughed at? I don't think that's a compliment. Complimenting women, you can compliment w women without belittling them. So it's not exactly what he said, it's how he said it. And there was a bit of a power play, I think. I mean, my reporter and I are two women, two young women, physically smaller. He's a celebrity, he's physically taller, he's a man. So there was a bit of a power play, I think. He, he wanted to embarrass me, and he, and he did. I turned beet red. You didn't confront Snoop Dogg. He's a celebrity. He's there visiting Nova Scotia. Why didn't you confront him? I'm not trying to say that you, ne you needed to confront him at, at all, because he shouldn't have made the, com the comments in the first place. But what, what was going through your head? Were you thinking, what, what is happening? Were you just trying to process, like, what in the world is going on here? Yeah, I mean, kind of, but if I could go back and do it differently, I don't think I would have done anything differently, yeah. to be honest. Like, I think some people want to hear me say, I would have, you know, but what was I going to do? Put the camera down and say, this interview is over, Mr. Snoop Dogg? How dare you speak to a woman like that? What was I going to do, hit him? What was I going to... If I put the camera down every time someone made me... Someone said something misogynistic about a woman, I would barely, you know, I wouldn't have a lot of footage. It happens so much. Now, it doesn't happen at the scale that this Snoop thing, and he's famous, you know, this makes a difference, but there are sexist comments made to me because I am in a more male-dominated right. role All right. pretty much every day, every day that I work.